the drawing window actually contains two different types of work environments, model space and paper space. These spaces are represented by the model and layout tabs, which appear in the lower left corner of the program window. When you begin a drawing, you will typically work in model space. When you create objects in model space, you draw them at their actual size. An AutoCAD drawing has only one model space, which is why you see only one model tab. Once you are ready to document your design, you can switch to a layout tab. Each layout tab represents a sheet of paper that you can print or plot. Just as you may have several sheets of drawings to document a design, you can have multiple layouts, which is why you see two layout tabs. Note that you can change the names of layout tabs. For example, on the Model tab, you can see a building project in which the building has been created at full size. In other words, since the building is 86 feet 6 inches, or 26.365 meters long, it was actually created at that size in model space. When you click to switch to the Floor Plan Layout tab, you see a representation of a sheet of paper. That sheet of paper contains a viewport that shows the geometry that was created in model space at an appropriate scale so that it fits onto the sheet of paper. In addition, a border and title block were created in paper space as part of the sheet of paper. When you switch to the furniture plan layout, you can see two separate viewports that show two different views of the geometry that was created in model space. These views are at a different scale than the view on the floor plan layout. You can create as many views in a paper space layout as you wish and control the scale of each view individually. And again, note that a similar border and title block were added to the sheet of paper in paper space. Again, when you work in model space, you create everything at full scale, actual size. Then, when you work in a paper space layout, you place views of the model space geometry onto the virtual sheet of paper with the view scaled so that it fits onto the sheet. While the drawing has only one model tab, you can create as many layouts as needed. If you think of it in terms of construction documents for a building, you may have multiple sheets of drawings to represent that building, but there is only one building. To create a new layout, simply click the plus sign to the right of the layout tabs. The program automatically assigns the layout name. To change the name, right click the layout tab and choose Rename from the shortcut menu. Notice that this menu also includes tools for creating a new layout, deleting a layout, and so on. If there are so many layouts that they extend beyond the width of the display, you can access the additional layouts from an overflow menu. You can also choose Dock Above Status Bar to move the layout tabs so that they appear above the status bar. But notice that when they are moved to this location, there is less space to display the drawing. To move the layout tabs back to their original position, right-click any layout tab and choose Dock in line with status bar. When you move the cursor over any inactive tab, a tooltip displays the layout name and a preview image, so that you can make sure you are switching to the desired layout before you actually click its tab. If you wish, the model and layout tabs can be turned off. To toggle the display of the layout tabs, on the View ribbon, in the Interface panel, click the Layout Tabs tool. 
Click this tool again to toggle the layout tabs back on again. You can also toggle the layout and model tabs on and off from within the options dialog. To display the options dialog, either right click and choose options from the shortcut menu or expand the application menu and click the options button. In the Options dialog, on the Display tab, in the Layout Elements group, the Display Layout and Model Tabs checkbox toggles the display of the Layout and Model Tabs.